Endoform is an extracellular matrix that works with the patient's own cells to build new tissue. Endoform provides benefit in all phases of healing for all types of wounds, including partial and full thickness wounds, pressure ulcers, venous ulcers, diabetic ulcers, chronic vascular ulcers, tunneled or undermined wounds, surgical wounds, traumatic wounds, draining wounds. Endoform is available in two versions, Endoform Natural and Endoform Antimicrobial. One or both may be used during the course of treatment, depending on the wound. The application and reapplication of both Endoform products is the same. Endoform is easy to apply. First, assemble all the materials you will need. Endoform Extracellular Matrix. Select the size most suited to the wound and the level of exudate. Multiple sheets can be used to cover the wound bed as needed, depending on the exudate of the wound. Sterile saline. An optional secondary dressing if needed, such as a contact layer. A non-adherent absorption dressing that is appropriate to manage wound exudate. Something to secure the cover dressing with. Prepare the wound bed by cleansing, irrigating, and, if necessary, debridement to ensure the wound is free of slough or devitalized tissue. Next, select a sheet of endoform that is slightly larger than the wound. Endoform can be applied as a whole sheet or trimmed so that it contacts the wound edges. Either side of endoform can be placed down on the wound bed. Apply so that it covers the entire wound bed and conforms to the contours of the wound. It's okay if endoform overlaps onto surrounding healthy skin. Rehydrate the endoform with saline or exudate until moistened. When rehydrated, endoform transforms into a soft conforming sheet. Next, apply a secondary dressing to protect the wound bed and the endoform matrix. Then, secure the cover dressing Endoform may be used in conjunction with compression therapy or negative pressure wound therapy, as directed by your wound care provider. The duration of treatment and reapplication of endoform is determined by your wound care provider, depending on the type of wound you have and its phase of healing. In the early stages of wound healing, it is recommended that the wound be assessed by your wound care provider within 72 hours of application. To reapply endoform, first carefully cleanse the wound according to standard procedures, or if applying in the home, cleanse with gentle irrigation using sterile saline. You may notice an off-white to golden-colored substance that forms on the wound, which indicates residual endoform from the previous application. This substance should not be removed, as it contains extracellular matrix components which assist in the wound healing process. Residual endoform can appear as different colors in the wound bed due to the type and level of exudate. Instead of removing, clean gently around the residual endoform, rehydrate with sterile saline, and leave in place. If endoform has overlapped onto the area surrounding the wound, the loose portion can be gently removed if desired. Change secondary dressings as needed and when reapplying endoform,